Hein? Good evening. Bonjour, bienvenue. Oh, sparkly things video. <laughs> um, yes, uh, I, I was, I just got my hot chocolate here in my Hail the Kale mug. You can sort of see there. I'm not going to turn it on its side, I'm not stupid. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Marine collagen peptides hot chocolate, yummy. Yeah, so um, a few of you have commented on my other video from today, my little mooch around with coal video, saying that you're excited to see what I've bought this week. So I thought I might as well film it now. I've just had a bath. My hands are still slightly prunish, but but not too bad. Uh, my hair is dry and I'm slightly naked, just so you know that. Just, you know, you don't have to picture it, but I just, for some reason, want you to know that. Anyways, what have we got? Eh? By the way, the tunes we're listening to, this is uh, No Copyright Lo-Fi Beats. So there you go. I think there's four hours of lo-fi beats. Anyway, what's in the boxes? Sneaky Peek, which you saw earlier. I'll come to that one in a bit, but just thought for a start, Shrieking Violet. Isn't that a cool name? I think that's a cool name. <laughs> but we'll come back to that one. So this is the box of goodies. What's in here this week? So we've got a mixture of vintage and modern. And the first thing I'm going to pull out is something so absolutely contemporary that it's actually, I think, a wish.com. Like Chinese import, you know kind of thing it's one of those cheapy websitey things anyway but I just thought it was really cool and there's no reason why cheap you know Chinese import jewelry can't also be quite cool I think that's fab now imagine that obviously around a neck white dress kind of Grecian looking you know empire cut Maybe a gold rope belt around the waist with that. I think that would look fab, see? Like, as a nice holiday necklace. I think that would be cool. There's something a bit, um, uh, you know, like uh, Michelangelo's David about it. That sort of thing. Don't you think? I think so. I like it anyway. Next we've got... Sorry, I had to turn that around again because I was giving you too much of a sneaky peek of something. Um, a nice bit of plastic, which could possibly have been amber, um, but I have got a handy little light, a uh, UV light that I take with me now, and I gave one to um, to my mum, and I think I got one for my sister. Because I've had a few of them. They were um, in a charity shop, like, dirt cheap, so I bought a few. So, yeah, uh, a good way to test amber is, for one, it feels like plastic. And for two, under blue light, so under UV light, it fluoresces. This doesn't, or at least only, like, the white bits do. But that's, you know, kind of expected, really, that it will fluoresce slightly. But it's not amber. But I tell you what, it is a good... Um, like imitation of amber it's a good replacement a good alternative that's the word I was wanting good alternative one so this is just plastic probably lucite um, it's really quite nice and a lovely colour that is a proper like sunshine egg yolk kind of colour with slight marbling in it nice vintage barrel clasp on there nice machine age like one so that is just a nice fab necklace and a lovely length on it too really nice length so don't always pass things up just because they're plastic or just because they're from wish because as long as the design is nice someone out there will want it that's what i reckon anyway what's next in here 
Ooh, something that I actually haven't seen before. I have had plenty of alpaca Mexico bits. Plenty. You know the stuff that's inlay? Um, it looks like silver, but it's not. And it's inlaid with, say, like mother of pearl, abalone shell, uh, maybe some enamel. But I've never had thin bangles before. And I think these are really quite nice. So very simple in design. See, that almost looks like a wheat sheaf down there with the red enamel. And then this nice zigzag line. They are stamped Alpaca Mexico in there. They're not very expensive, these things. They were probably maybe about five to seven pounds each brand new. When I got first in the shops. Very big in the 70s and again in the 90s. But I just thought they were sweet little bangles. They're right nice. And of course, when you wear them, you just have a nice subtle little ching ching, which is lovely. So yeah, we like them. Okay, next up, what have we got? Okay, another little piece of modern. But I quite like it for its kitchen campness kind of design. You can see my knee there, how saucy. Let's move you back in frame, shall we? Is this moving? I hope not. Anyways. So next is this little charm bracelet. This little like seasidey charms. Now I wouldn't have picked this up if it had lots of wear on it because it's just a gold tone. Um, the wear would would make it look quite cheap, but because it's it looks pretty much brand new and unused, so it's still all lovely and shiny. And I just really like the charms on it: the little starfish with the pearl and faux pearl and the faux coral, little conch shell. I think it's just really nice. There's no maker to it, so I mean, at least we know it's not Claire's accessories or accessorize or next. So God knows who it is, but I just thought that was super sweet and someone is going to enjoy wearing that on their holiday when they get to go on one, hopefully very soon. But yeah, I just like that. Lots of lovely sunshiny holiday things here so far. Right, let's go to a nice contrasting colour, shall we? Now, I think someone mentioned just now before I came to record this, they really liked the colour on this necklace and that is why I picked it up. This was one of the things I bought today. I bought this and three other items, three silver items, for a total of £45. Is it me moving? It's not the camera moving, is it? Sorry about that. Anyways, I'll try and keep an eye on it. I don't think. Anyway, yes. So this lovely, almost cobalt blue is in that lush. And it's not on string, it's on chain. And again, lovely machined beads on there. And that bead is just glorious, isn't it? Almost like a lantern with these lovely bead caps. See with the lovely embossing on there as well. I think this is proper bohemian. So when I say bohemian, I don't mean hippie. I mean bohemia as in Austria, Germany, um, Czech Republic, like that. So I think this is probably Austrian glass. Look at that. Isn't that such a lovely clasp on there as well? Look at that clasp pawn. So this is brass and glass. Probably 1920s or 30s. Super lovely colour. Look at that yellow next to the blue there. Oof. Don't you just love it? Okay, what's next? Oh, this is a cute little pin. I've had this little lady before. So, oh look, she's got a, yeah, she's naked too, sorry. Um, 
she's not particularly old, I don't think. I think she is a reproduction of a design. Okay, we are moving. One second, I'll be back. <laughs> Hilarious technical issues there. But yeah, I think uh, the design is a reproduction and I think this is actually probably a pastimes item uh, made in pewter. But I've had this as a brooch before and I've had this as a stick pin before and I think I've had smaller ones as earrings before as well. But always a popular design. It reminds me of, um, you know, there was those girls that um, faked the fairies in their back garden. Really reminds me of that. It's very cute, really nice for springtime, I think. Okay, next. This I bought on the pretense that it might be silver, and I was wrong. It's not silver, but it is a little kitty cat. Look at it, you would think that was silver. I think it's silver plated, it doesn't test as silver, but that's why I was fooled because seriously, that really does look like silver. I know the chain doesn't, but the charm does. But never mind, it's still lovely. It doesn't bother me that much. It's still a cute item. It doesn't always have to be silver, but we like it when it is. Okay, let's have a bit of silver then. You know how much I'm a Disney fan. As in, I'm not a Disney fan. But I did think this was kind of cute. Mainly because it's so tiny. So it's um, a little christening cuff, isn't it? Like, little baby. So, you were just one. I didn't have one because I didn't get christened, but my sister did. And she's got one. I think she's still got hers. But can you see on there? That way around. Can you see? Honeypot. Winnie the Pooh, a little bee round the honey pot. So yeah, cute little Winnie the Pooh bangle. I couldn't see one on eBay, um, so I don't know how much they go for. Probably not a lot because it's, you know, they're not very big. But kind of sweet, I suppose, for a Disney thing. <laughs> okay, what's next? Ah, oh, this I spent a fiver on. Five pounds. It's not even gold. It's not. Um, and those aren't diamonds in there. So why did I spend a fiver on it? Because um, it's Atwood and Sawyer. And they're a nice collectible brand. This is gold plating. Probably 22 karat gold plating. But that's just a really nice cocktail ring. Or dress ring. So something that looks like it could pass as gold and diamonds. That you could wear out for the night and not worry too much about it getting lost. But obviously you don't want to lose it because it's really nice. Slight Art Deco feeling about it. But yeah, very collectible brand, Atwood and Sawyer. So look out for it. Don't confuse A and S, the stamp, with M and S though. Because I've very nearly done that before. Taking a drink. Mm -mm. Right. Oh, another thing to look out for. Now, you've all seen the old stretchy bracelets, haven't you? I'm going to have to dig in further. Stretchy bracelets, just some beaded things that may have some charms on. And these are some of these charms. So where I bought that, thinking it was silver and it wasn't, um, I somehow possessed a stretchy bracelet with some charms on that did end up being silver. Now I got it because of the little teapot on it because I thought my sister might like it, but she's not all that bothered to be honest. Um, but yeah, these ended up being silver, a little teapot and a little heart. Just nice little clip-on charms. So check your stretchies if they do have charms on them, because you never know. I'll put the wheels next to the imposters there. 
and I do like them because tiny teapot. So cute. Right. What do you want to pick out next? What, that? That thing? Okay. So these are one of today's finds. It's a pair of earrings. Now, I think they are artisan made because of the construction. If you've been watching um, all the glisters, I can't say glitters. I mean, I know it is all the glitters, but I think these are artisan handmade because you can just kind of see some of the manufacturing uh, uh, techniques. So like the twisting round of the wires, the drilling here, the bezeling of the, what I think might be coral, possibly. It's very well done, but it's not perfect. If it was perfect, that would make me think that it was machine made, you know, mass produced. But I think it's artisan made because of the slight imperfections that make it perfect. But I think that's a really cool design. Very modernist. And again, really fun on the beach. Wear that on holiday. I think they're really quite nice and interesting. And lovely, I'm pretty sure it's coral. I'll check with Auntie Sue, because I think she's had coral like that before. Okay, let's pull out something else that's silver. Now this wasn't in today's haul. This I got the other day, and this I think is also studio made, and it needs a bit of a polish. Isn't that fab and amazingly sparkly? So that has got to be um, like either an opal doublet or a fo fire opal, not fire opal, like a blue opal in there. But I don't think it's real because it's almost too nice, isn't it? And too big as well. But um, I think this is an artisan piece as well. And uh, that they haven't had stamped on there, but they have put it on a sterling silver chain and this does test as silver. So I'm wondering whether this might be like the precious metal clay that I use, you see? Because again, it's not perfect. We've got a nice hammering detail on there. Definitely studio made, I think. Shame it's not signed. But I do think it's lovely. Looks a bit like a nipple. There we go. That's a nipple. Just for you. Right, somebody else commented today about, um, they said, oh, the lovely Art Nouveau lady, and here she is. Isn't she super pretty? She's got a lovely face on her, a lovely profile. And it's really, like, nicely done as well. Again, I don't think particularly old. Uh, there is some kind of signature in there. I think it says like CT13 or something. And then that might possibly be a signature in there as well. Uh, it's not silver, it's probably silver plated. But isn't she really pretty? This is the kind of thing that, um, the kind of brooch that you almost wanna like rub it for good luck, if you know what I mean. Don't rub her face off. <laughs> but yeah, she's lovely, isn't she? So that's when I picked up today. Do you want to see another one? I go on then. Another one I bought today. So this was one of the expensive things that I bought. So this necklace, this, and two other bits of silver for £45. But totally worth it. This is a chunk and a bit of amber. Modern reconstituted amber. Those would be like um, bits of water in there. So um, they basically melted amber back together to make this. They put the water in there to give it inclusions. It's probably Polish. The silver on it is made to look um, Art Nouveau, but I don't think it's particularly old. But it's still absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? How lovely. And that is proper weighty bit of amber there as well. Really gorgeous. 
and a nice chain. Go on, I'll show you another little bit of amber. This one is slightly darker. Put the two together. So this one is a slightly older bit of amber. This is going more towards your honey cognac colour. Again, there's a couple of inclusions in there. These ones may be more natural. Um, but I still quite modern brooch, I think. From modern, I would say from like... 80s, 90s onwards. It's not from the Art Nouveau period, just in the Art Nouveau style. But yeah, quite handsome. Imagine that like on a collar. It's quite nice. Now I know you all want to see a nice sexy stone, don't you? Of course you do. How about that? Now that is a real opal in there. And it's a real nice opal as well. This direction, I can see blue, green and red, and then a big stripe of blue and then dots of red. From this angle, I can see green and red. And from that angle, a massive flash of red and pink. It's lovely. It's not on gold. This is silver with a gold overlay and the same with the chain as well. But that is a blooming gorgeous, gorgeous stone. Possibly a catch and release, as Margaret would say. But right nice, it's right nice. And then another interesting little stone on a modern bit. This is a little, uh, I think, moonstone. I did see a flash at some point, but now I can't get it to flash. So maybe it's only under certain lights or... Oh, there it is. There it sort of is. You can't see it on camera, but I can see it here. Little rainbow flash. We've got a little hands a hand or Fatima hand for good luck. Little bit of filigree in there. Little flowers and hearts. Super cute. Need to find a chain for that. Right, from delicate things, let's go to a chunky monkey, shall we? Way bit of plastic. Nice bit of plastic. I bought this today for 99 pence because it really reminded me of um, designer Jackie Brazil, the Sobral brand. Now I've looked all over and I don't think I can see a signature. But it is pretty much like that style. So it's a very good, again, like a uh, replacement for it, an alternative. Oh, I thought I saw it, but no. It's a shame it's ribbon. But, you know, that's okay. At least it's clean ribbon. At least it's not, you know, there's a little bit of wear there, but at least it's not proper mucky. Which is nice. So I might just trim the ends off. Because they're fraying a little bit. But that is a cool bit of plastic. I like that. And better that we save it. And use it. And wear it. Let it go into some awful landfill somewhere. Same as this. How about that for a fab statement ring. So that's a bit of loose sight. Possibly 1960s or 70s. Probably made in Taiwan. Reverse carved or in tableau. Hey Stephen. And painted as well. But I love the way that it looks small on the back there and then obviously it magnifies. Ooh. Isn't that cool? That's super awesome. Mm hmm. Sit nicely, you two. There we go. Now, we're getting to some of the exciting bits that I bought today. And one that I just bought this week. So one, two, three, four bits left. Okay. This one is potentially a keeper because I think the design is absolutely 
stunning. And that's this. Two swans, but in a very art deco style. It really reminds me of like Russian propaganda, of the Black Swan film, you know, by Darren Aronofsky. Such a good director and such a good name to say. But isn't that just stunning? I really love that design. Look at the detail on the feathers there and on the beaks. I think it's beautiful. It is signed, but I can't make out the signature there. There's something with an eight in it or an S. It's really hard to say. But that doesn't matter because I really love it. And that's one of my treats for the week. That's one of my keepers. That is for me. Perks of the job, see? Perks of the job. Um, okay, next thing. We'll go for the big beefy thing that I bought today, shall we? <coughs> One second while I take a lovely drink of hot chocolate. Oh, oh. This is a beast and it's a heavy beast. Heavy-ish, it's 35, 36 grams. Really nice etched cuff. Hallmarked inside Birmingham, uh, 1973 by R&W, who is Rigby and Westwood, I think. I have to double check on that one. It's one currently listed on eBay for £90. Um, whether they, I will get that, who knows. But it's really nice. Again, this and the amber and that necklace and another bracelet is what I got for £45 today, which sounds like a lot. I'd obviously love to spend, you know, 50 pence an item. But that doesn't always happen, obviously. That was priced up at £20. And I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Because I know that that is worth more than £20 just on weight alone. And the fact that it's got a nice vintage Birmingham hallmark. It's got lovely construction, lovely design, lovely shape to it as well. That's slightly squared almost. It's just so nice. Oh, I haven't shown you what's in the box. So yeah, shrinking violet or shrieking violet made with real flowers. This I thought was a ring, first of all, when I saw it, because it was like that. And I thought, oh, that's such a cool ring. But it's not, it's a little brooch. It's a little brooch. And it's their poppy design. And obviously at certain points of the year, in November time, poppies become extremely popular, because they're obviously Remembrance Day. So I'll probably keep it and list it closer to the time then. But I think that's super lovely. And from this company, obviously, their poppy range is one of the more popular ones. And they command decent prices. Like, I think brand new, they're uh, between 30 and 50 pounds, depending on the size of the item. But I think that's dead nice. So I was happy to pick that one up today. Only three more to go. Yep, only three more to go. So this, I think I've shown you similar before. This is some butterfly wing. But I've never seen it with such a, a nicely painted, like, surround to it. Uh, so she's like, is she a crinoline lady? She's like a gone with the wind kind of lady. Quite frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Um, it's not Thomas Mott, but it is, it says England Sterling Patent Pending, I think. Yeah, I think that's a patent number on there. Thomas Mott did a load of these, and I have sold a Thomas Mott one, quite a big one, um, that I bought for a pound, and I sold it for 120, I think it was. Um, but that was a huge one, because obviously the bigger the one piece of butterfly wing, 
the bigger the butterfly had to be, and so the rarer. So smaller ones don't command, hu command huge prices, but they are still lovely. I know it's quite gruesome that it's butterfly wing, but also just appreciate that that is glorious as well. Just stunning. Okay. Second to last bit is the other bracelet I bought today. This was priced up at £10 for a huge, lovely charm bracelet with lots of lovely charms on there. So for a start, you have got the classic heart padlock on there. Really, really nice. And then tons of lovely charms. We've got a St. Christopher. We've got Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament. Um, little dancer. We've got this, which actually I had. This is a little bookworm. How cute is this? So look, it opens up and there's a little worm inside the book. Adorable. Um, the cat, which obviously I quite like, cat bum. The Welsh lady, the Guinness harp. <laughs> and uh, the Welsh camel because we're famous for our camels. That is quite a bizarre one to have on here, but very cool though. Lots of lovely, lovely charms on there. So I'll sell the charms off uh, separately. I think that's like a Cadillac and a little spinning wheel. So I'll sell the charms separately to the actual um, bracelet and I, I might keep the cat. Because again, perks of the job, isn't it? Right, are you ready for the final, final item, which is quite possibly one of my all-time favourite finds, because it's hilarious, it's plastic, um, it's, it's absolutely insane, and what's also awesome about it is this is my second, that I know of, book piece, so when I say book piece, it means it was featured in a book as a prime excellent example of its type. So I have ordered that book and this is a keeper because how cool is that? That is a Lucite goldfish bowl necklace. It is so cool. Um, the designer or the company, I think it's called Castle Cliff. Um, they don't retail for hundreds and hundreds but certainly a hundred and a bit you know but I just think it's so ridiculously fun and it's a book piece and it's just genius that for me that's another keeper so look what I get to keep I get to keep my beautiful swans my lovely fishbowl and my silver kitty cat. Aren't I lucky? Right. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If there's anything that you are after, please find my contact details in the box below here. I'm not in any rush to list any of this stuff, so please don't be waiting for me to list this on eBay because that could take a year. But yeah, if there is anything you want, Message me either on Instagram or the email address below and I'm sure we can sort something out. But yeah, until next time, bye-bye now, bye-bye.